we are going to look at the nth child selector in this video. Now the nth child selector is a type of pseudo selector. You will remember a while ago we talked about the hover effect and that is also a type of pseudo selector and so is the nth child selector. Now every pseudo selector starts out with a colon and so the nth child starts out with a colon as well which again identifies it as a pseudo selector. Now we use the nth child for pattern selections. So maybe you want to select every even or odd numbered element. And that's what we are going to start out first with, selecting odd or even numbered elements. So you can see here, I've created all of these paragraphs because I want a lot of paragraphs to establish a pattern. And right here, we're gonna select our div, which of course is has an ID of right, so we'll select that. And then we'll point to our paragraphs. That's what we wanna target. So all of our paragraphs inside of our right div. And then of course, we use the colon right here, and this kicks off our pseudo selector. And here, of course, we put nth child. Now we put arguments into these open parentheses right here. So the first thing we wanna do is select all of the even numbered elements. So all you do is just use the keyword even, very simple. So let's just go ahead and save this. And so now if this works, all the even numbered elements should be selected. So let's refresh our page and you can see they are. So we have the second one, the fourth one, the sixth, the eighth, and so on. Now the opposite is the odd keyword. And you guessed it, that will do all of the odd numbered paragraph elements. So let's refresh our page and there you can see, now we start out with the first because that is an odd number, three, five, and so on. Now you can also just put a straight number in here. Let's say you just wanted to select the third element. Well, you can do that and we'll go ahead and refresh our page and there you can see you get just the third element selected but that's not a pattern is it so if you want that to be a pattern you put the letter n after it and that will tell it to create a pattern so if we refresh our page there you can see now we get every third element selected now what if we wanted to do a little bit more of a complicated pattern we can do that by adding a plus sign and what you can do here is you can start it out at a specific point so let's say we still wanna go ahead and repeat this every three, but we wanna start it out at a very specific point. So again, you put in the plus sign, and then you put in where you want this to start out at. So let's say we wanna start out at the fourth position instead of the third position. And then after that, we wanna repeat three again. So we'll put in four right here, and we'll go ahead and save this. So once again, if this works, we'll start out at the fourth paragraph element, and then we'll repeat every three elements. So let's refresh our page, and there you can see it did it, look. We started out at the fourth paragraph this time, and then we repeated every three. Well, let's go ahead and switch this to two now and see what happens. Now it should be every two paragraphs after we start out with the fourth paragraph. So let's refresh this. Whoops, I did that wrong. <laughs> Not 32, two, okay, that's why I didn't see anything. Let's go ahead and refresh this, and there you can see. We select every second paragraph after starting out with the fourth paragraph. So that's how the nth selector works. I will see you guys in the next video.